All right, what's going on everybody? So this is going to be my first impressions for what is most likely the biggest game release of the year. So I've completed about, you know, six main missions, done a, a bunch of uh, random encounters and, you know, some side missions and everything like that. And uh, I think I've played maybe about six, seven hours. So this is really very an early impression because, you know, the game obviously gets bigger, more things get uh are, are become available to you uh the further you get into the game and this is obviously a very large very long game um so as far as the story goes you know the first couple of hours serve as just the story building and the tutorial which i don't mind because it's very fun and engaging and learning about the original members of the of the dutch vanderlyn gang um you know it's exciting especially for those who played red dead one and want to see uh, you know how things came to be for that game. Um, so I'm not that far in the game um, So obviously I don't know the ultimate or main plot But you know the basic premise for what the gang's intentions are and their current situation uh, is very clear uh, the voice acting is 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 honestly amazing and it doesn't seem to suffer from like what I call video game script uh, in which the lines don't seem real or, or authentic it seems like they were um, specifically made for video game talk. Um, sometimes we hear dialogues in game games where we know nobody would say that and nobody would speak like that in real life. Um, but so far, the script in the game is very believable, and uh, I'm, I'm engaged so far. A few few hours in, um, as far as the plot goes. So getting into the gameplay, and it's like this game is so massive. It's honestly hard to comprehensively talk about everything. Uh, that you can do, especially in a, in a first impressions. Um, but one of the first things you learn in this game is there's a lot of character stats, tracking, and maintenance. You have to take care of yourself. You know, you have to nurture and ma and maintain yourself. You have to do it for your horse, yourself, your gun, uh, and the people in the gang. You have to maintain all of these things, right? So like I said, there's just there's just so much content. I mean, from the wildlife to the random encounters, uh, you know, when you're traveling that you'll come across just random people and you'll have to make decisions that affect you later. For example, um, this is not a spoiler. This is just a random encounter because it, it, it I'm not exactly sure how the random encounters work. If uh, I think some random encounters everybody will get, but I don't know if it'll be in, in the same way that everybody plays the game will get it. Um, I don't know if it's like, you know, procedurally generated or if you like, if everybody goes to this same spot, will they run into that same encounter? I'm not sure how it works, but for example, I ran into this guy who got bit by a snake. I offered him some uh, healing drink um, and I ran into the guy uh, when I went into this town and he offered to buy me a free gun. So I was able to go into the gunsmith and pick out any gun I wanted and I bought the Springfield uh, sniper rifle, I think it was. Um, other things in the game, you know, there's a huge inventory at the general store. I went in there, I stocked up, you know, you can customize your character, his boots, his, you know, his, his shirt, overalls, um, his, his, his coat, hat, all, all those things. You know, there's barbershops, saloons, gunsmiths, hotels, entertainment shows, you know, butchers and doctors and all this stuff. Uh, when you commit crimes, you know, bounties are put on your head. And uh, if you don't want the law to come after the law to come after you, you got to pay those bounties, or you know you're gonna you're gonna pretty much keep getting pursued, and uh, it's gonna become harder and harder to to beat those guys and evade them. I think if you put your uh, your mask on, or rather your 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 bandana on your face, I think if you have that on while you commit crimes, then people won't might not be able to know it's you, something like that. Uh, if witnesses see you commit a crime, they'll try to go and snitch, and then you'll have to like kill kill those witnesses <laughs> if you don't want them to, you know, snitch on you. So you know, all all these choices uh, affect what happens to you. Um, there's a ton of dialogue. You can pretty much walk up and talk to anybody. Uh, there's, there's just a lot of activities to keep you busy and to keep you from actually progressing in the main story. But it doesn't feel like filler. Right, like for example, with Spider-Man, a lot of the side content in that game, we we felt like okay, over uh, eventually it became kind of tedious and um, you know filler. 
I don't think it's going to be like that in this game. Like I said, I'm not that far, but I don't think it's going to get to get, get to feeling like that. Um, you have a, a reputation, somewhat of a reputation system. I'm not ex I'm not exactly sure uh, to the full extent the repercussions of how your reputation affects you. Of course, the dead eye mechanic is back, and they've expanded on that. But I think the hand to hand combat is still kind of pretty it's still kind of basic and, and dull um unless there's something i don't know about it right as far as i understand um with when you with hand-to-hand -hand fighting it's just punching and, and dodging uh i i don't know I, I i i felt that i wanted it to be a little bit a little bit more complex than that uh but it's it's very simplistic from what i understand um the the, the audio and the you know the sound design rich and authentic that sounds great but let's get to the the main problem of the gameplay in Red Dead Redemption 2 and in many Rockstar games and uh, you know I don't like it when people try to skip over this fact about Rockstar games or when they you know speak about uh, you know Rockstar games they don't call out a major flaw in the gameplay right if this was any other game made by any other developer the game would get it be getting ripped apart for it but i guess because it's a rockstar game people choose to ignore it the movement in this game is ass ass okay there is no other way to describe it it is ass it is cumbersome clunky and stiff like it was in gta 5 like it was in gta 4 and I think the only recent rock, Rockstar game that was made that wasn't like this was Max Payne, right? I think, and I think that used a different engine. So I assume this is a, a issue, or it might not even be an issue to them. This might be intentional. And I know I see a lot of people defending it. Listen, regardless of why they do it, whether it's intentional or whether it's, it's like a byproduct of something else in the game, it's terrible. If you need if you really needed to make like any pinpoint accurate movement or aiming in this game, good fucking luck. Okay? It it can be you can do things to make it more toler tolerable, such as going in the options menu and um you know adjusting the 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 aim acceleration, the aim assist, uh and and the uh, and the and the sensitivity. You can do those things. And I use free aim because I refuse to use auto aim in Rockstar games because to me, this is just me, if you use auto aim, you're not playing the game. The game is playing for you. You might as well just put down your controller. That, you know, that's just my opinion. I refuse to use it. I think it's bullshit. And I think it's what it is. It's, it's a compensation to cover up the fact that Rockstar acknowledges that the movement and the aiming in their game is ass. If this was a game where the aiming was just top notch, why would you need auto aim? You get what I'm saying? Why would you why would you need that if the aiming was precise and it was like one to one if it was good? In any like like in any any or most third person shooters, the and this and you can also go in first person in this game by the way. In whether first person or third person, most games have at least decent aiming mechanics where it feels fluid, it feels responsive. This game is exactly the opposite of that when it comes to movement and aiming. It's terrible, like like I said, regardless of you adjusting the dead zone or the sensitivity, it's just cumbersome, clunky, stiff, it's bad. And I, whether it's intentional or not, it's not conducive or productive for the gameplay. God forbid you're in a firefight, you got like five dudes um, shooting at you, and you need to make precise movements to get into cover it's like and it's a and and you're in a small environment a small tight environment you're screwed because you can't make like tight adjustments and tight movements to move around in small spaces even big spaces it, it's terrible like i said can you can it is it bad enough that you can't play the game and you can't finish the game no but it's bad enough that you're constantly aware of it and constantly 
cognizant of it. You always know the movement is bad and the way it feels is non-responsive. Okay? And I, and this this was my major concern going into this game. Right? Um, everybody was concerned about other things and yada, yada, yada. I was always... My, before, as soon as this game was announced, I was wondering how was the movement going to be? And unfortunately it's absolute garbage okay it's bad it's just bad um another small thing that bothered me uh is that like sometimes like let's say you walk into somebody's house and you steal something like an item from your, from their house even if they're not in the house and they don't see you i've encountered twice where i took something out of their house and they just automatically knew I did and started shooting at me. I don't like that type of stuff. That's that I, I called that out in, in a recent game. I forgot which game it was. That when you do something, I was it was it to, it was Tomb Raider. I, like I said in Tomb Raider, I'm keeping that same energy. We should be past faulty AI in games, in which when you do something, the programming activates something in the AI's mind. To let them know what you did, even though they're not there. That's complete bullshit and nonsense. We got to get past that in gaming. So that's another thing that kind of annoyed me. But like I said, the major problem is just the movement is a nuisance and the hindrance. It's a major hindrance. Like, the biggest obstacle, the biggest enemy in Red Dead is not anybody you're shooting at. It's the controls. It's the movement. That, that would get me killed way more than anybody shooting at me in this game. And that's a fact. It's just bad. And anybody who denies it, you're delusional. Okay? It's just bad. Like, it's okay for us to praise every other part of the game and say the movement is trash. Because it is. But apart from that, the visuals, yo, the physics, animations, and visuals are amazing. I feel like the animations sometimes can tie into the bad movement. Um, and I like the comprehensive and thorough animations, but sometimes it's like I feel like they're doing a little bit too much as far as the uh, the speed of the animations. Like, for example, if you're in a gunfight and you need to move into cover or you need to loot a body. Oh, my God. It literally takes a day and a half. It literally I'm not saying it should like be skipping animations and it shouldn't be fluid and thorough. But like, can we add a little bit of. I don't know some urgency to this shit you get what i'm saying it, it just it just that that bothers me sometimes also um but like i said the physics animations visuals are you know this is probably one of the most this is probably the most beautiful open world we've seen to date the textures depth depth of field lighting shadows gorgeous um this all makes the presentation beautiful um the ps4 we know is not running at native 4k uh, it's checkerboarded. The Xbox One X, that's that's native 4K. Both are, are 30 frames. The PS4 is running at some uh, funky, um, some funky resolution. It's above 1440p, I believe, when I checked, but below actual 4K. So it's some funky resolution in between that, and the rest is is, is checkerboarded. But um, you know, those are my first impressions. I'm enjoying the game. I, I think everything about this game. Is, is pretty much great besides the movement, as I said. And sometimes I feel like the inventory system, there, there's like so much. I'm still adjusting to traversing through the inventory system because there, there could be just so much that you want to get to something. And it may be because I'm so early in the game, I'm like, okay, how, how do, where is this thing at? How do I get here? You know, that, that sort of thing. But that might just take some time for me to adjust. But yeah, so, so far, those are my first impressions. Let me know what you think about the things I've said. Make sure you hit the like button and uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime that I upload a video or I'm live streaming. Thank you all for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.